Hi everybody, I'm Simon, this is Sam and Emily, and we're going to kind of show you around the engineering building here, which is over here. We are the SESS, the Saskatoon Engineering Student Society. We're sort of the like student governance here at the college. So yeah, this is sort of the entrance to the engineering building, one of many. Uh, over here is the library. We did take all the books out of the library, so it's not really that anymore. It is more of a study space. Yeah, over here we have one of our uh, materials labs. They do some really neat stuff in there, a lot of stress testing. You get to break some stuff. It's pretty fun. Second floor is where I play. I'm Sam Risling. I'm in my second year of computer engineering, as you can tell by the bags under my eyes. And we're going to go up to where we do our thing. Uh, this is, you can peek on people in the library down here, Phantom of the Opera style. There's a skywalk to agriculture over there. That's good if you need to get coffee and for nothing else. These are a bunch of computer labs named after Greek letters, all in a row, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Uh, if you're going into comp eng or electrical engineering, you'll be up here quite a bit because this is where they gather. Also, the bio mechanical lab there. There's cadavers in there. Wait, really? Like arms and legs. Oh, cool. I don't know why you said like arms and legs. <laughs> if that was going to be less wild, okay. This is my favorite part of the engineering building. This is a very small door. It has a room number. I don't know what it is or for or where it goes, but it's the best. This is what this is what keeps me going. It, this is how I do it. Engineering is it unlocked? Okay, I'm just now noticing this is a second tiny door with the same designation. So now I do think they go to the same, I assume, magical. This one, also locked. So here's the thing. We've all seen National Treasure starring Nicolas Cage. Obviously. 2B002. It's not on the map. It just shows a path. <laughs> I assume. This is 2C01 and 2C02. These are big classrooms and computer labs that uh, all disciplines have. Um, I think we need to go down this hallway. Right? Okay. For my uh, favorite graduation photo. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is actually a robot, but it looks like a human with a very terrifying mask, and I spent five years believing it was a human. Oh, it's not? Wait, it's not actually? It's not a person? It's a robot. Because it, it looks like it has a soul, <laughs> is the problem that I'm yes. encountering. And it's also holding a knife, <laughs> I, scissors, I, which makes it even more terrifying. This was 1982. So you're currently responsible for Sky. I was about to say, this is pre-Terminator, I think. Probably not. When did Terminator come out? I don't know. It was... Uh, down here is the Student Resources Center, so if you need help with, uh, well, most things, actually. <laughs> You can come down here, there's a little window up here and a bunch of people's offices. You can book appointments with advisors online. We're, I feel like we're really doing a great job orienting people in this building. If we go over here, we have our SESS office. So if you've got any questions about that sort of stuff, you can come here and usually find one of us. We also got a cool store. So over here, we got, we're sort of in our D wing now, which is our chemical engineering wing. My best chemical engineering thing I did would actually be right here when we got to take a tour of the pilot plant. It was pretty neat. It's pretty huge. Neat to see. Oh, they they do a lot of stuff in there. So like right. <laughs> oh, yeah. All sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. So yeah. Anyways, what they were working on when I was taking a tour in there was they were working on taking waste products and turning them into biodiesels which I thought was really neat and super cool. I think it was tar, actually, that they were using. Yeah, turning tar into biodiesel. So yeah, that was really neat. Down over here, we got some like more mechanical labs over here as well in these, sort of. Do you think there's anybody in the Hardy Lab? Oh, absolutely. Should we go in? Yeah, All right. It's for the tour, okay. So yeah, we have the Hardy Lab in here. 
This is sort of our like kind of big shop that we have. A lot of the design groups run out of here. Like uh, over here, actually, we can see the Husky Formula race car. If you join the Husky Formula race team, you may get to drive it. Also this one. We run a lot of the design groups out of here. There's race team, the USST, that's our space team, uh, bridge team, aero design team, quarter scale tractor team. I'm, the last time I was here was two years ago. I did not remember a whole no, lot. that's not fair, because I would never been here. I was forged in the fire um, online school. Oh, we have a virtual reality lab in this room. It's super cool, I got to do it first year. It was pretty neat. And we also got a nice secluded study area here. There's, they sort of have these just sort of scattered all over the building, and kind of everywhere. I believe down here we have the co-op center, right? Yeah. Over here, I think, is the, the engineering co-op internship program. That's a really good thing I would look into. Behind us here, we have another machining lab. I always like to look at this one because they got all the cool stuff laid out on the shelves. We're going to be coming up on 1B71 soon. Everyone probably is in 1B71 at some time or another throughout their engineering program. I started studying engineering because uh, I really liked comp sci and comp eng, and I did a bunch of uh, stuff in high school with that. Uh, if you're a high school student, do that. There's lots of competitions and stuff. And uh, then my teacher told me I should do this, so I did. Uh, I like engineering because it really is like no other college. Uh, it's hard to explain, but you know when you talk to people in arts and science or literally anything else about like their classmates and their relationship with the people around them, it's like yeah, they all they all go to school together. It's kind of it. But engineering, there's there's just something something in the air that's a little bit wild or a little bit different, and it's fun. Hey, I'm Emily. I am in my sixth year and hopefully final year of mechanical engineering. It's very nice right now because it's fall. Agriculture, beside yes. us. Agriculture is where you get coffee. Yes. But the good thing is that the coffee is right out of the overpass, pretty much. So you only have to be in agriculture for a short, like a little, short, a short little. period of time. Uh, this is, is the SESS lounge, those windows there. Come say hi to us. <laughs> Archaeology. There's rumors that there's a sealed off morgue in the basement. Unsubstantiated, but... I have seen little, like, half doors, like, not, like, full wing height, like, little crawl space doors. So, they've never been open. We've been filming this video for about 20 minutes, and this is the second dead body story that Emily has had. <laughs> what was the first? Oh, okay. The cadavers. The cadavers. That's yeah. a biomechanical. They test knees. <laughs> knees? They do things with them. Oh, okay. There's also cow hooves in there. If you go into engineering physics, you'll probably live in there. Or electrical engineering comp eng have a lot in there. Yeah. And then this is the Peter McKinnon building. My acceptance letter to engineering. This is where you... Just... Sam picked up his acceptance letter. letter. This is the bowl. This is the bowl. Um, Because if you look at it from above, it kind of looks like a bowl, but not really. More like a football. Yeah, let's, let's go see the dinos dinosaurs. The, this stone has fossils in the wall. It's like fossils. Let's go inside because I do want to see the dinosaurs. This is engineering is is bar none the best discipline. Uh, this is like the closest any other discipline comes to us because there are dinosaurs in here. This is a science library, so this if you need like, one where you have to be quiet and you can't yeah, so really keep it, really keep it tight in there. I'm not allowed. I don't go in. That's a horse, I think. Oh, those are real. That actually scared me so bad. So let's keep going. I think it's probably this is a Stegosaurus. We spent a lot of time in this building, that's not our engineering building, but I like to think of it as it, because it's cool. Yeah. All right, they're looking at Koi. They'll figure it out, it's fine. Let's go find some uh, cool stuff, like eating places and drink and food. 
I, I did this morning, not a joke, send a uh, emergency message into our Slack for the Student Society uh, pleading for an iced coffee, and I received one. That's just the kind of spirit you'll see around engineering. <laughs> Let's go inside. So just up there is uh, the culinary center. You can get some, some food. Uh, it's it super good, Their actually. Mashed potatoes are probably still the best mashed potatoes I've ever had. Mashed potatoes are pretty legendary. That's our bookstore. You can buy your textbooks and pick up your stuff in there. Or like uh, when you forget them, Sam has to run there like all I, I, this is not, yeah, I have been there a few times because I did forget a pan or a ruler, but that's okay. And then this is a Tim Hortons. If you do want a breakfast sandwich, Egg Cafe's got them in the morning. Uh, just leave one for me. Because also every morning I do go get a breakfast sandwich and a coffee because otherwise I would not make it through this degree. Uh, let's go to Thorvaldsen. The Thorvaldsen building. It looks kind of like a castle and it's super cool. It's where a lot of the chemistry classes and labs are. They got some really neat stuff. They got like uh, the Sphinx edition that's like kind of around the back side. Really nice chemistry labs. Yeah, legend says that the ashes of Thorberger Thorvaldsen himself are stored within that cube. Some say it might just be his dog. I don't know where that came so, from. So, <laughs> just, to, just to add to the one to the counter of dead body stories. E-plant used to take place. They even have like a commemorative plaque. That's kind of accurate, except what actually happened is we kidnapped an agriculture student, put him on top of here, guarded him while the other eggs tried to save them. Yeah. So We're working it, on some new traditions. Yeah, it was sort of an outdated tradition, you know. Uh, so yeah, congregated on this spot to celebrate their college pride. I guess that can be that 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 can be a way to interpret it. Here we go. Yeah, we got another skywalk here, so. If you take your roots right, you can make it all the way from Place Real to the engineering building without stepping foot outside. So yeah, I'd park over there, and because I was, I usually park at the pack for midterms and stuff, because it's nice and close, nice and easy to get out of, but there was Husky women's basketball finals that night. Hey, how would you describe the parking lot? It was it's, full. So it was what, full. A complex was full. What would you say it was? It was packed. Oh man, that took me forever. Anyway. Or university educated. <laughs> yeah, so I had to park over there and sprint like across campus and I just made it in time for this midterm. And oh boy, that was a time. My favorite part about um, studying at USAS being in engineering is just it's a super cool place like you get to work on so many cool things like there's design teams and design classes that you can go to was a part of the aero team for a few years and i got to design a remote control plane and take it down to texas and fly it which was pretty cool and with student government i've got to travel all over canada and meet a lot of cool people our building and and campus and some of our us as a student society uh if you want to know anything else uh, the Engineering Student Center has emails on the website, and so do we, if you want to talk to not professionals and would rather talk to the goobers, that's acceptable. Uh, but engineering is a really, really cool place, and you should come, because we want you to be here. It's awesome.